Rides are being set up in Northlands Park for another year of K-Days. Some of the classics you know have been taken out of the park, but they've been replaced with some fresh and new experiences. Thrill seekers will recognize many rides returning to K-Days, including the giant Ferris wheel, along with some new ones. Guests can also expect other familiar sights and sounds. There are key elements to the event that we know people look forward to, generally speaking. They look forward to shopping. They look forward to great food experiences. They look forward to being able to go on great rides. But there's new mixed in with the classics. The Spangle Tent is one major addition to K-Days this year. The tent, which looks like a movie set from The Greatest Showman, will host shows for all ages throughout the fair. The Spiegel Tent um, was built in Belgium 75 years ago. We've brought it here and we've filled it completely with local artists and performers. So there's over 200 local artists artists and performers that will be performing throughout the 10 days. The monster is also making its Canadian debut at K-Days. Organizers believe the largest inflatable course in the world will be a fun alternative for the beloved Big Yellow Slide that was taken down in early June. This is for uh, ages 11 plus. So, you know, I think for the adults out there that, you know, are a little nervous on rides, don't want to get motion sickness like me, um, that's that's something for for you to look at safety remains a major concern with amplified worries over crime in the city organizers say the introduction of a command center and enhanced partnership with edmonton police and metal detectors at all entrances will minimize risks alberta health and safety also reminding fairgoers to stay hydrated and seek shade when spending an extended period of time in the sun they also suggest if you are having a couple wobbly pops at the event to drink slowly make sure to eat when consuming alcohol and mix in a non-alcoholic beverage to stay hydrated. We want to assure all fairgoers that we will be monitoring air quality throughout the event. From Edmonton, Adam Zicarelli, City News.